Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new episode for Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we'll be creating a simple poster design just using brushes and Photoshop. So yes, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe my channel. And with that note, let's jump with the video. Here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a work composition. So as always, go to file, click on new and I'm going for 1350 over 1080 and let's create a resolution of 300 resolution and change the color mode to RGB and change the bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and click on create now let's drag and drop this image over here right click convert it as a smart object Control T let's make it a little smaller all right, let's keep it somewhere in the center, maybe somewhere over here. And right off that, let's create a solid. Go over here, add a solid. And let's go for some kind of gray color, something like that. All right. Now select the layer, create a layer max and go to the brush. And this time I will go for this is splatter brush and if you want to download the same brush check on the description list below so select the uh, let me see i will just go for okay let's go for this brush and let's add some splatters all right now let's create let's go for another brush yep let's see so, oh not this one let's go for another one yep let's go for this one let's see All right, let's add some rotation. Maybe on other side. Yep, maybe something like that. Now let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for. Okay, let's go for this brush and let's change the brush rotation a little bit. Yep, maybe somewhere, something like that all right now let's make it a little smaller and let's add a kind of same color okay all right now let's create a, another layer let's add a kind of splatter over here maybe let's add one more over here let's give a kind of similar color white and let's add a one splatter over here all right now let's go over here create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for this red color let's add a kind of little rotation All right, let's go over here. Let's add a small strokes over here too. Maybe add one over here. Let's add. And just take your time to give some details. Uh, let's go for another brush. all right let's go for this one and let's change the color to somewhat similar white let's create a new layer all right now let's go for this white let's add a stroke now let's go for another brush let's see which one okay yeah let's go for this one let's add some rotation yep something like that and let's add a big stroke over here and let's create a new layer let's add one over here
go all the way to the bottom let's add a new layer go to the brush and let's add a bigger strokes yep. let's add one over here let's add another let's add new one over here all right now select the layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and let's add some color corrections so from here let's uh, go to the basic tab increase the, decrease the highlights increase the shadows uh, increase the texture increase the clarity and maybe let's increase the exposure just a little touch and go to the detail tab increase the noise reduction and from the basic tab let's drop down the vibrance just a little touch maybe something like that and go to the de color mixture and let's drop down the orange and yellows and let's increase a blue a little bit and from the luminance tab let's drop down the luminance for blue yeah let's keep it something like that now let's go over here and go to the brush again create a new layer and using the same brush add a kind of strokes over here now let's drag and drop this texture over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom yep maybe somewhere over here Control T let's keep it like that now let's add some text so go over here add a text let's add some shapes so go over here go to the custom shapes and let's go for let's go for this one and then now let's go over here let's add some other shapes yep let's go for this one and let's add some over here maybe something like that and let's see let's add some other shapes let's see what else let's go for this one all right now let's add some other text so let's go over here add some text and let's make a copy let's add some text on the bottom So that's the wrap up and I hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys on next tutorial.